Okay. Show me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dutch Sheet Channel. Thank you very much for tuning in for an episode about the Toolkit RC Watt Meter. It is a power meter. Uh, what? <laughs> what does it do? What do you need it for? In this video I'm going to tell you what this does. I'm also going to tell you what it doesn't do. Also, I'm going to be giving away this Toolkit RC Watt Meter and some other tools from Toolkit RC in a future video. So if you're not subscribed yet and maybe you don't get uh, notifications, uh, well, uh, don't miss out on my giveaway of this watt meter. And again, I'm going to give away a couple of other Toolkit RC tools as well. So, a watt meter. What is this? In this box you will find the watt meter itself, a USB cable and a little uh, manual. So, as you can tell, this watt meter has two sets of leads and it has XT60 connectors. However, the, the watt meter doesn't come with these connectors. You'll have to solder up connectors of your choosing. And that's uh, the, the right thing to do, right? Uh, maybe you don't uh, even use XT60s, maybe you use uh, XT90s or XT30s or T-plugs, Dean's connectors, or uh, anything else. So yeah, uh, it's very common for these kinds of watt meters to come with no plugs attached. By the way, if someone uh, from Toolkit RC is watching, it would have been nice to add some shrink tube to the package. Okay, over here you see a screen and uh, you don't see it very clearly but you'll see uh, it when it lights up in a second. On the right side of the watt meter there's a, a button, a turn dial, which you can tuck into the, to the, the watt meter if you don't use it. Very handy actually. And on this side there is a servo connector. Okay, what does this do? What can you do with it? So these two sets of wires are actually the input and the output and the watt meter will display the, the power use of anything that uh, of the power that flows through it. And uh, that might not be very clear, but let's say I've got this motor and ideally you'd have a propeller on it. Uh, you'll be uh, measuring the power consumption of your propulsion, right? Maybe this motor is an airplane, it's got a propeller on it and you want to know what the amp draw of your setup is. Very typical, right? So what you obviously also need then is an ESC to drive that motor. Uh, conveniently this one has an <laughs> XT60. So we're gonna hook up this motor to this ESC. Now I could hook this ESC up to a receiver right and control its uh, the throttle position with a uh, transmitter. That uh, would typically be the, the way to go with a power meter. However, I show you that, showed you that it has a uh, servo connector over here, right? That's where you plug it in and then signal on the right, signal on the right, so like so. And this way you don't need a receiver and a uh, transmitter. The, the power meter itself will uh, act as a throttle. So I hook up a power source. I've got a 4S LiPo over here, so we'll hook that up to the source. I hope you'll be able to see that it says source on the left. At which point the power meter will come to life. And at this point nothing happens because we haven't hooked up the ESC to the output of the power meter. So we'll do that right now. I'm not sure if you were able to hear the in it sounds of the ESC, but that means actually that the ESC sees this power meter as a receiver. So at this point I can unlock or eject this button over here and with this button I can spool up 
Uh, maybe it would be nice to hold on to the motor, actually. So, what actually happens is I'm controlling the throttle with this turn dial on the power meter. Now let me actually zoom into the screen so you can uh, see what's going on. Okay, we've got a couple of screen elements here. We see a, a dial over here which will represent the amp draw of our, uh, our, of our setup of the motor and ESC. Over here we see a graph which uh, now displays nothing as we are not running the motor. And over here we see a setup for the built-in receiver basically. But what's more, most important is this 1000 number which is zero throttle and if I turn up this dial I basically spool up the motor that's uh, all there's to it so what you see here is an amp draw, over here you see a wattage, so a, a power output and you could see that graph uh, uh, move up. Now the amp draw of this setup isn't very high as there is no uh, propeller on the system. Ok so over here you also see the voltage for S-LiPo and it's in storage so it's not uh, at 16 volts. Over here you see the total milliamp hour drawn and the on time over here. Now let me run the motor again. Over here you'll see an amp draw. Again, it's not very high. I peaked out at uh, approximately one and a half amps, I think. And again, that uh, power meter is uh, rated to 150 amps. So, more than enough for most airplanes, RC airplanes. And 50 volts. What is that? 12S? Is that 12S? I'm not sure. I'll put it on screen. Okay, so let's run it again. And over here, you'll see the wattage. And the wattage is basically the amp draw times the voltage, right? So uh, yeah, it basically does some, <laughs> some calculating for you. And again at the bottom uh, this graph will run up to 150 amps, so it doesn't rise up very far. But you'll see basically a heart rate monitor of the past amp draw. Let's run it again. So that's very handy, you can look back at uh, what happened uh, a couple of seconds ago. And again, this entire setup is handy because you don't need a separate receiver and a transmitter to run uh, the watt meeting of, with this, uh, this unit. Now, I told you uh, at the beginning of this video I, that I'd show you what this thing can do, but also what it can do. And uh, the biggest omission, I think, in my opinion, with this wattmeter is that it can't show a peak amp draw and a peak wattage. For instance, if you'd hook this wattmeter up in an airplane or a boat or a car, run that boat, car, airplane and then after the flight see what the maximum amps and the maximum wattage was or maybe the, the lowest voltage, highest voltage, things like that. Uh, that would be handy, right? Because you'd be measuring a realistic amp draw, not a static bench test amp draw. Uh, so yeah, maybe the firmware on this watt meter is updatable. If Toolkit RC is watching this video, I think it would be very handy to update the, f the firmware to where it could show, well, a, a log maybe, but uh, at least uh, the maximum amps. Speaking of that firmware, I showed you that the wattmeter comes with this USB cable. And what is that for? Well, on this side it not only has a servo port, but also a USB port. And basically for all Toolkit RC products I've had so far, goes that if you hook it up to your computer, it will present itself as a USB drive. And you can simply then throw the updated firmware onto that USB drive. 
and uh, the next time it, it powers on it'll update the firmware so that's very easy and again yeah if someone from toolkit rc watches this video it would be a, a major upgrade to this unit if it could show an, a peak amps and a peak wattage and maybe well uh, any kind of other info, but at least a peak amperage. I think a lot of people would be helped with that. Even if you'd be running this, this watt meter on the bench, you won't always be in a position to keep an eye on it, right? Once you are uh, running your tests, maybe you want to check things. So, or, or maybe you just missed that peak, peak in the amperage. So, again... Uh, it would be very nice if it could show you the peaks in uh, the power output. Okay, last thing I need to mention, and you obviously saw that, uh, the, the thing has a nice color display and it's even well visible outdoors. So that's nice. And uh, yeah, it, its functionality is pretty basic. Uh, you can run it obviously with an external receiver and a transmitter and not use this knob. That's perfectly possible, but uh, again, this setup uh, is very convenient uh, if you want to quickly test uh, a se uh, any kind of uh, power setup. You can obviously also use this watt meter to check the power consumption of a phone charger or anything else that runs on uh, direct current. Do keep in mind that uh, the max current is uh, 150 amps and 50 volts of course but if you want to see if um, well any household device that runs on direct current um, well you can uh, check uh, maybe you want to see what, what what the output level of your solar panels is you can do that with this power meter as well and that's basically it i hope this was uh, informative if you have questions hit me up a comment down below and again i'll be giving away one of these watt meters and some other tools in the near future be on the lookout for that catch you on the next video bye bye